So we are the Lane Burger family, and this is Lane. When Lane was almost a year old, four days before his first birthday, he was diagnosed with cancer. And when we met with them, they kind of thought this was gonna be a very treatable cancer. It was a kidney cancer, like I said, so they removed his kidney, and um, they started his chemo treatment right away, and it was supposed to be 15 weeks of chemotherapy. So we finally thought we were finishing chemo. It was February of 2007. It was, um, I believe, a week or so before our very first thon, actually. And uh, we finished the chemotherapy. We had a scan coming up, and we were super excited that he was going to be cancer-free. Except we went for our scan, and we were not cancer-free. The doctor called us and said, I'm really sorry. I hate to call you and tell you this. Um, but your son's cancer has spread to his lungs, and we're going to need to be more aggressive. So that was kind of like being pushed to the back seat again. We were starting this journey all over again. Um, so they started a more aggressive treatment and we did another scan. Cancer is still growing. We're gonna add some more medications. Um, at this point, Lane was completely bald, pale, dark circles under his eyes, losing weight, hardly eating. Um, so we did the next scan and the doctors came in and said, We've tried everything that we can do, and so we have two choices for you. You can take Lane home and wait for a new treatment to become available, but it's been 15 years since we've had a new approved med medication treatment um, for this type of cancer. Or you can try the stem cell transplant. Um, this was a phase one research study at the Penn State Children's Hospital. He would be um, the first kid or the second kid in a 10-year study that they were gonna try this on. So, I mean, as a parent, the choice seems pretty clear. You're, you're going to have the treatment that's going to save your son's life or has a chance to save your son's life. Um, except insurance doesn't approve treatments that haven't been proven to work. So a phase one research study was not an approved treatment. So insurance said, no, we're not going to pay for this. And so we were back to either we can pay for this treatment or uh, we can go home and take our son and hope pray, wait for a new treatment. A few days later, we got a phone call from the doctor and he asked to meet us at the hospital. And so reluctantly we went and he said, I have some good news for you. The Four Diamonds has offered to pay for your son's treatment. So that was July. Well, the treatment ended in the hospital, August of 2007. He had to be in the hospital starting in July and they had him quarantined. So this is a two-year-old boy in a hospital room for 85 days straight. He couldn't leave the hospital room due to um, just contamination germs that could have affected his immune system with the stem cells that they were trying to put in his body to heal his cancer. And so thankfully, that stem cell transplant did its job and he stopped treatment in October of 2007 and has not had to take any cancer treatments since then. But with that comes a lot of side effects. Um, everything that the Four Diamonds does is amazing because they're not just focused on treating the kid, it's the family. You know, from walking in the doors to Thon at the first time to a little boy who had just been in the hospital for months on end, um, that was like a break and to see his face light up at the very first thon and see joy in them again, it's a feeling you just can't describe. And we get to be a part of that every day. And the fact that Four Diamonds doesn't stop with that, they start you know, with the research to continue finding better cures, cures that aren't gonna hurt their bodies as much, um, and continuing to support them after treatment, knowing that it doesn't just end there, that there's always gonna be hurdles after cancer treatment. And they help support you through all of that. Um, it's been fun, I think, just to see Lane come out of his shell around them. He's usually a pretty quiet kid, but when he gets here, he's a whole other person. The year Lane was in his lion suit, and he did the fashion show, and they had the lion waiting for him up on stage, and he came out, and as soon as he saw him, he just ran to him in his lion suit. And so, like, that's where you see the meme on Facebook, we, we thawed so every cub can be a Nittany lion. I think that was probably my favorite, just the two lions sitting there in a big tight hug, it was awesome. 
and he couldn't stop talking about it. He went home and told everybody, and we had the pictures everywhere. Um, that was probably one of my most favorite thoughts. When you're on the floor, and you get, you're surrounded by everyone, and you see how the crowd is it's, it's so big, and I love seeing all the families like just forget about what their child is going through and just how much fun that they're having. That's what I get surrounded by. Just looking at other families and just seeing how, how well everybody just gets together and comes together.